FHA versus conventional loans, choosing the right mortgage for you. What's going on, my people? How are you guys doing today? I'm Jeff, the Mortgage Pro. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, before I get into this here, I'm gonna put my link down below in the uh, in the description section and also in the comments for a calendar. And if you wanna jump on a call and chat about uh, some different things on how to qualify for a mortgage, whether it's FHA or conventional in this instance, or any other type of mortgage that you're looking for. I'd love to get on the phone with you for 15 minutes and just understand your needs and see if it's something I can help with. I'm licensed in a lot of states across the country and I can help you out just about anywhere. Okay. So today's topic, we're looking at FHA versus conventional loans, choosing the right mortgage for you. So let's start with the first one. This is insured versus uninsured. FHA loans are actually backed by the Federal Housing Administration. So they're not, um, they don't actually do the loan, but they insure the loan when you're doing these, which means that they are insured against default. So this insurance allows us as lenders uh, to give you more favorable terms in some instances. So things like lower credit scores or smaller down payments, you can still get really good terms when you have an FHA loan. Conventional loans are not insured uh, or guaranteed by the government. Uh, they're considered higher risk for lenders. Uh, and as a result, borrowers typically need a higher credit score and a larger down payment compared to FHA loans. How big is the difference between a conventional and a FHA loan for, for minimum down payment? It's three and a half percent for FHA and 5% minimum for conventional typically. In some instances, you can do conventional with just 3% down, but mostly it's 5% down. So the difference is not that big when you're comparing uh, the down payments for conventional versus uh, FHA, but insured versus uninsured, that's the difference between how you can get better pricing with an FHA loan because they're protected in case of a default versus conventional loans because they're quote unquote higher risk, right? Okay, the second difference between FHA and conventional loans is the down payment requirements. So we just kind of mentioned this a few minutes ago, but it's very lenient when you were looking at FHA loans. They're they're definitely lower uh, on the lower end. You need as little as three and a half percent down to purchase a home, okay? Whereas uh, on, a, uh, on a conventional loan, you're gonna need just a little bit more. You're gonna need a minimum of 5% down, uh, typically reaching anywhere from 5% all the way up to 20% down for conventional loans. And especially if you wanna avoid mortgage insurance on a conventional loan, you need at least 20% down in most instances, okay? And then the exact amount depends on factors such as your credit score and the other lender requirements. So conventional loans are more susceptible to variable mortgage insurance. So less down payment, lower credit score is gonna be a higher mortgage insurance, whereas FHA loans are gonna have the exact same mortgage insurance, whether you put three and a half percent down or 20% down, it's still gonna be exactly the same, okay? All right, the difference between credit scores for FHA loans versus conventional loans is different as well. So FHA loans are more forgiving when it comes to credit scores. And I think we mentioned this just a few minutes ago as well. Borrowers with lower credit scores may still be eligible for FHA loans. Whereas if we switch over to conventional loans, typically you're gonna wanna have a higher credit score. Usually something over 640 is gonna get us a transaction on a conventional loan, but the pricing is not gonna be very good. I would say, you know, if your credit score is over 700, you can have decent um, mortgage interest rates on your conventional loan. More likely, if you're going to be over 740, that's going to give you even the better, uh, better pricing on the conventional loans. But it doesn't matter as much on FHA. So if you have a 640 credit score, you might want to compare both options. Do I look at the FHA or do I look at conventional? And if you work with a mortgage advisor like myself, I can definitely show you the difference between what those things look like for you, so you can make the the right financial decision for you and your family. Okay. All right, the next thing that has a difference is the loan limits. So the FHA loan limits are set by the government and they vary by location. So some counties have different loan limits. Um, some of them go all the way up to the conforming loan limits, but some of them don't. So make sure that you know what the FHA loan limit is in your area. These limits are designed to accommodate the lower to moderate income borrowers. In high cost areas, the FHA loan limits are definitely gonna be higher and they may be even up towards what the, what the conventional loans are, 
Okay. Conventional loans, on the other hand, uh, may have higher loan limits. In just about every year, for the last several years, the conforming loan limit keeps going up. I think that they announced uh, just recently that the conforming loan limit is going to be somewhere in the 750 range for conforming loans, which blows my mind because several years ago it was you know 200 and some. So it's definitely going up as property values go up. But these loans are not set by the government. They're set by what's called the Federal Housing Finance Authority, okay? Uh, excuse me, Federal Housing Finance Agency, not authority, okay? And they can vary by county. Um, so make sure you check in what those loan limits are as well. So loan limits are set by two different uh, instances, uh, two different entities in these instances. So they could be different for the different areas. Sometimes they line up and they're exactly the same. And then in the, in high cost areas, also FHA and conventional loans could be, can definitely be higher depending on if it's a high cost area or not. Okay. And then the last thing to look at when we're comparing uh, FHA and conventional loans is mortgage insurance, guys. So for FHA loans, uh, they re require both an upfront mortgage insurance premium, so money that's typically financed into the loan amount when you're getting an FHA loan. So you put three and a half percent down, and then some of the money is going to be financed into that loan. So you're actually, you know, it looks like you're putting less than that down, but you're actually just financing some of the closing costs in there. You still have to have the three and a half percent down for the down payment. And then an annual mortgage insurance premium uh, that borrowers need to pay throughout the life of the loan that's paid on a monthly basis. Okay, the mortgage insurance protects the lender in case of the borrower default. So when you have an FHA loan, that that mortgage insurance is going to stay on there for the life of the loan. It doesn't go away. So in order to get rid of it, you'd have to refinance out of the FHA loan into a conventional loan or a different type of loan to get rid of the mortgage insurance. So just know that. And then on the other side, uh, on a conventional loan, we have what's called PMI. You've probably heard that term before, or also called private mortgage insurance. And this is typically required when we have loans that are um, have less than 20% down, you'll have a PMI in there. And again, in many videos, and maybe even in this video, we mentioned before that as they, uh, you know, they have different credit tiers and down payment tiers. So zero to 5%, five to 10%, 10 to 15% and 15 to 20% would have different tiers of mortgage insurance. And then if you have lower credit scores, it's going to be higher mortgage insurance. If you have higher credit scores, it could be lower mortgage insurance. So there's a lot of factors that determine what your PMI is on a loan going forward. So uh, just make sure that you take a look at that and see what it is. And just like any other transaction, what I was always advise you to do is like, take a look at both options. Like it might be priced better <laughs> to do an FHA loan versus a conventional loan. And sometimes it might be better to do a conventional loan versus an FHA loan. So always look at and see what your options are when you're looking for a mortgage. If you guys like my videos, do me a huge favor. Go ahead and click that uh, like button down below and uh, also hit the subscribe button with the bell next to it so you get notified when my next videos come out. I really appreciate you guys watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next show. Have a good one, guys. Bye.